Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Living Flavors with Sunita. On this episode, I am going to show you a mouth-watering recipe, chocolate mousse. So, I am going to show you how to make chocolate mousse in two different ways. The first way is to make it in a mixer grinder and the second way is to make it in a hand mixer. So, before we start cooking, let us look at the list of ingredients. I have taken 200 ml of fresh cream, 100 grams of chocolate, you can take any chocolates that you have at home, it might be milk chocolate or even dark chocolates, 2 cubes of butter, a pinch of coffee powder and 7 to 8 biscuits and you can take any biscuits of your choice but make sure it is chocolate flavored. I have taken good day choco flavored biscuit today and water for double boiling. There are only three steps involved in making this recipe. The first step is to crush the biscuits, second to melt the chocolates and the third is to whip the cream or beat the cream and we'll put all the ingredients together and make this chocolate mousse. The first step is to crush all the biscuits that we have taken. Break the biscuits into two halves and add it to the mixer grinder. I am going to grind these biscuits to a fine powder. You can also use a roll pin to crush these biscuits. I have crushed the biscuits. Make sure the mixer grinder is not wet when you add in the biscuits. So I am going to transfer this to the bowl. The second step is to melt the chocolates using double boiling method. So I have a pan here. So I am going to add little water. After 2 minutes, I am going to place a vessel on top of it and drop in the chocolates and the butter. The chocolates are starting to melt. It will take around 2 to 3 minutes for the chocolates to melt completely. So now it's time for the coffee powder to go in. Mix it well. Okay, so the chocolates are melted. Now turn off the flame. The third step is to beat the cream. As I told you, I'm going to beat the cream in two different ways. So first, I'm going to add half the cream to the mixer grinder and beat it. Most of us might not have hand mixer at home. So you can use this mixer grinder method to make this recipe. Beat it for 2 minutes so that you will get the exact consistency that we wanted. To the beaten fresh cream, I am going to add half of the chocolate mixture, the melted chocolate. After beating this for 2 minutes, this is how it will look. This will look watery now, but after we refrigerate, it will become like a mousse. Now the second way, I will show you how to beat the fresh cream using a hand mixer. I am going to beat this fresh cream for a minute or two until it forms a creamy consistency. Now it's time for the chocolate, uh, melted chocolate to go in. So I am going to add the chocolate little by little. I have folded the melted chocolate in the fresh cream and it is blended well. So this is the consistency that I am looking for. So now I will show you how to assemble the chocolate mousse. You can serve chocolate mousse in small glasses like this or even small glass bowls. The first layer will be the crushed biscuits. After adding biscuits, give it a gentle press so that it can form a good layer at the bottom. It's time for the yummy melted chocolate to go in. So this should go inside the fridge in the refrigerator section for 3 to 4 hours. I'll show you after it is set completely. It's been 3 hours now. So the chocolate mousse is all set. So this one was done using the mixer grinder and this one using the hand mixer. So hope you do not see any differences in this. So it's time to uh, serve this. So when you are serving, top it with some whipped cream. Wow, it looks wonderful. You can also garnish it with some chocolate chips or the crushed biscuits. Or even shave some chocolate on top of it. 
chocolate mousse is now ready to be served doesn't this look yummy kids will love this recipe and this will also serve as a wonderful dessert on your table so do not wait to try this recipe it's time to taste eat it along with the biscuit layer This is so chocolatey and so yummy a perfect dessert for this summer do try this out and let me know how it turned out for you guys in the comment section below and as always do subscribe if you haven't already and give a huge thumbs up and support me it means a lot to me see you guys next time with another interesting and yummy recipe until then bye